In the series, during the search for the Iron Dragon, Bill Randa mentions local folklore and legends, a dragon that carves a path of fire across the sky. Let's dig into this folklore. Hey everyone, welcome back to Care Fiction, this is your host Subhankar. Before we begin, this is just a speculation and if I have said anything wrong, apologies in advance. Let us begin with the region and its locals. In the series, the sequence is set in a region of the Philippines called Mindanao, which is its second largest island. Now Mindanao is home to a group of indigenous people called the Lumad and one of the many ethnic subgroups of the Lumad are the Bagobo. They were primarily nomadic and said to have practiced slash and burn agriculture. They had several myths and one of them was of Minokawa. Minokawa is a giant dragon-like bird in Philippine mythology. According to oral traditions, this creature is so large that it can swallow the sun and hence people used it to explain the occurrences of eclipses and it is called the eclipse creature. Some also mentioned that the Minokawa lives in outer space and that it devours the sun, moon and earth. The giant bird is as large as the island of Negros or Bohol. It has a beak of steel and his claws too are of steel. His eyes are mirrors and each single feather is a sharp sword. Now let me tell you the story of the eclipse. A long time ago, before time itself, the moon was afraid of a giant devourer called the Minokawa. So the moon makes eight holes to get into the west and eight to get out in the east. The giant bird waits in the east to devour the moon. But once the Minokawa swallows the moon and the sky is dark, the people, seized with fear, begin to scream and make noise with a gongs, fearing the end is near. The noise catches the Minokawa's attention and as soon as it opens its mouth to hear the sound, the moon jumps out of its mouth and escapes. So following this belief, it may be so that in the olden times, the Bagobo or the locals may have screamed or made loud noises during eclipses. So that was about the Minokawa and its close connection to the Iron Dragon. And here is another fun fact. The Godzilla King of the Monsters novelization depicts notes that indicate that Rodan could also have been very similar to or inspired by the Minokawa. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.